everybody man this is a new edition new episode of unpopular honesty and i know it seems a little weird but uh it's your boy t mad visions and uh i'm hosting this show with my boy your host cornbread capone <laughs> yeah what's up baby chilling man yeah Chillin'. man uh hey man look it's hip it's hip hop's 50 50th anniversary bro and you know um how you feel about that man at this moment bro 50 years man when i was young listening to rap i didn't think that it would be i didn't think i didn't think that far ahead to say one day rap is going to be 50 years old right uh it's cool to see but we have to provide an understanding when we discuss what hip-hop is mm -hmm. because uh, I had a talk with somebody last night and I told them, you know, I know we hip hop is 50 years old, but truthfully, um, I celebrate 1973 through 1999 because that period was hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop, uh, stop being that at a certain point mm -hmm. and and mainly the last 15 years or so have not been hip-hop and right. i don't consider it i mean and it's no it's no disrespect but mm -hmm. you know it's it's you have to differentiate what hip-hop is and what hip-hop is not right you know what i'm saying uh the culture has been around 50 years but uh it's not the same it's not the same it's, it's totally. not the same at all they they didn't they fucked it up right and people, a lot of people who listen to it now have allowed them to fuck it up. You're right. I believe that. I believe that too. You know, I believe that. You know, hip hop died in '99, 2000. You know, around that time. Uh, but you know, from from 2000 or 2001 all the way till now, you still have dibs and dabs of people that do. do salute hip hop and they yeah yeah because it's been yeah. it's been great moments i mean right. we can't i can't discredit the uh the moments the classic albums the classic songs the disc records right you know those we don't get too many of them like mm -hmm. how we did in the 80s and 90s but there's still mcs around you still have kiss around Nas is still around mm -hmm. eminem is still around you have uh you know jay and and uh the clips back together and, right and you know it's a bunch of yeah. you know royce the five nine and joining lucas yeah. there's so yeah. many you can name you know but you know uh as far as you know the industry puts it around it's th that's not what they want this right. is this is hip-hop this I ain't gonna say this generation but the era we are in right now it's not hip-hop it's not fully hip-hop that's why a lot of these uh new artists they was actually they was not included in the hip hop 50. And you know uh how you how you okay okay now check this out. How do you feel about um them just including uh Ludacris in the hip hop 50 um concert? How you feel about that? Only the only southern artists the only southern artists southern, southern artists um because i seen there was a controversy uh that some uh southern rappers where well, they was kind of mad because Ludacris was actually put as the only southern artist to be on the hip-hop 50 anniversary the concert well i would say that there was southern artists before Ludacris. Ludacris yeah. came out in 2000. yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, but there, before him, there was, yeah, you know, other Southern artists. Right. I didn't know that. Uh, wow, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, what I can say about that is, I mean, <laughs> some people, some people are not, you know, like I had some friends who, you know, 
they celebrated hip hop, but all the album covers they shared was from the eighties and nineties. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and, and and I said what I said, and I celebrate what I was celebrating. And there was a couple other people yeah. doing the same, but um, I guess it's gonna be that separation, uh, right. you know, because mm-hmm. th- this today is not hip hop. Right. This know? today is not hip hop. Yeah, it's not. So it was. It was another um uh con- controversy going on with uh Melly Mill, OG Melly Mill, right? Right. And versus Eminem. Uh huh. Now, uh, how you how you how you feel <laughs> how you feel about that? Like for real, seriously. Um, did you hear it? Did you actually? Did you hear it? Both of them. I heard both of them. Yeah. Uh, so how you feel I, about that? I've seen it all pretty much. I mean, it's yeah. all stemmed from an interview. Mm-hmm. I saw that interview. Uh, people had their views on Eminem. A lot of his criticism come from his skin co- complexion right. more so than it is for his musical quality and actual talent. Um, then, of course, in his fashion, he'll address everybody who's been talking about him on his time. Mm-hmm. And he did that. Then the response from Melly, yeah. uh, he shouldn't have did that. It was disappointing. Yeah. Uh, then today I read that you know he apologized and he, and he removed this and he took it down and mm-hmm. you know uh okay yeah you know that's but you he he should have you know what I'm saying yeah. I I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that you know what I'm saying that like, but you don't think but you don't think on the on the on the grand scheme of it is it's just the culture of hip hop like you know back when it started that's that's how it came about and he felt like he he felt like that he needed to do that because he was defending you know like you know what whatever whatever side he's on or whether whatever borough he's he he's on he's he's defending that like or he's defending his people and eminem is defending hip-hop you understand what i'm saying like like it's a I, didn't, of, I didn't know. I didn't look at it like yeah, that. I looked it, at it like he was just he made the reason why Eminem responded is because you know people have not so good statements to make about him. Yeah, and naturally, him being the artist that he is, yeah. he's going to respond to that. Right. right. Now, uh, you know, some people have some people look at it from uh, the the skin complexion. Standpoint, yeah. and then I've heard some people say Eminem, you know, music don't play in clubs, or he don't make music that I can relate to. Yeah, you know, yeah. but it doesn't negate his lyrical ability. Yeah, he cold. He it cold. doesn't negate the fact that he has. Yeah. I mean, Eminem got classic albums. A lot of your favorite rappers don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and yeah. let's just be honest about it. And right. this generation, they don't make music with the intentions of creating a classic. They just trying to make money. That's why the music is microwave. That's One why hit. it comes out so fast, mm-hmm. but you forget about it even faster. Right. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a relevant song. It's not going to stay relevant. It's going to be irrelevant within, you know, three years or not even that, you know? So, uh, Man, uh, did you watch the uh the fiftieth uh hip hop concert? Did you watch some of it, or you didn't get a chance to? I haven't got a chance. Hey, man, it was good, man. You had uh you had Snoop Dogg, uh Snoop Dogg. Who he brought out? I forgot who he brought out. He, he brought out somebody. Oh, he brought out uh he brought out Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nas, Nas popped up, Nas popped up, Nas brought out Lauren Hill. That was real nice, you know. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny because, you know, everybody been talking about, you know, Lauren Hill and her, her attitude and stuff like that. And you kind of seen it, you know, you kind of seen it on the part because she was looking at the background dance. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the background singers and... Man, you had to see it, bro. But it was I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it was it was good, man. It was on uh Matt, what's that Mass Appeal? It was on Mass Appeal and they showed the whole thing. So 
that was that was good, man. Um, I would like uh, I would I would like to see more. I I you, you kind of see hip hop, you know, coming back as far as you know the the lyricism. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's good to have you know a Kendrick or a Cole or Crit or Big Sean. It's good to have those cats like that because they really, you know, what I'm saying they like challenge. They challenge these artists for today. Um, who do you who who right now? Who are you waiting or anticipating uh, to come out? You know, in as far as the end of the the second half of 2023. Um, I want to hear this this Snoop album produced by Drake. Missionary. What? Yeah, it's called Missionary. It's supposed to be a, you know, I guess a a part two of mm -hmm. their, his first album or whatever. Um, say somebody is supposed to drop before the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Jada Kiss. Yeah, Jada, Jada Kiss. Kiss is supposed to drop before the end of the year. And I'm hoping mm. that this will be the one that we can put our finger on and be like, oh, Right, this cemented his mother. You know, he's he's he has goat status already. Mm -hmm. The only thing I feel that's missing from the equation is the fact that he doesn't have a classic album. Yeah, that's the only thing. You don't think Kiss of Death is? No, I think his albums because he takes so much time between albums. Mm -hmm. When he gives you an album, he overloaded with songs, mm -hmm. and it be. 19, 20 songs. Well, yeah. you don't have to do that. I mean, you could cut it down to anywhere between 10 to 12. Yeah. You cut your, you, yeah. could, you know, eliminate them, you know, right. non worthy features. Right. He can and, even have an EP. And he can even have an EP. And go for what you know. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I mean, with the people that he know production wise, it right. would be great. Yeah. And, um, uh, I, I know that people these days, they don't, some people announce when they have an album coming out and others don't. So it might be one or two surprises that mm -hmm. come out before the end of the year that right. I just don't know about right now. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and, and <clears throat> shit, I look forward to the music that I'm finna put out yeah. myself. So, you know, man, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what's up, man. Um, Man, really and truly, bro, you you one of the uh pioneers, you are pioneers of this uh the southern region where we at. You had your part in it too, and you know, you need to get your flowers, you know what I'm saying, why why it's due, you know what I'm saying? Cause you <clears throat> man, bro, you deserve it. You deserve it. And um I appreciate it. Yeah. But it's political. I understand that it's political yeah. reasons as to why I don't get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. uh, you know, I don't I do not do the, uh, I don't go along and get along. Yeah. That has a big part to play <laughs> in. I'm, I'm realizing that has a major, major role in why yeah. I don't get played. <laughs> I don't get talked about. I don't get uh, yeah. my flowers. I don't get, because I don't. I don't play the. I don't. Right. You don't play that game. I don't kiss ass. I don't. You know. Yeah. I don't do the boot licking. I'm right. not a. I'm not a servant. I'm not a sucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and I stand on what I stand on. And then a lot of people don't like that. The fact right. that I tell the truth mm -hmm. instead of perpetuating lies. Right. Because most people perpetuate lies because the lies sound better. Right. Of course. You know. Yeah. Hey man, but you know, all that and that and that's coming from, you know what I'm saying? That's coming from somebody that's been listening to you for a long time. Even things that I didn't listen to, I know Big E, man, you know, Flames, he ain't gonna say nothing wrong. He ain't, you know, I remember uh I heard you and um Criticale right. from back in the day, man. Hey, I heard some songs that y'all had together, and when I tell you, bro, I was like, Yeah. I mean what so yeah, man. Uh, I had I got I have to ask you this, man. Um, this is this is just for hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what? So I, you know, I I ain't the type to stir up the pot or nothing like that. But is three four action coming out? Cause I heard it, 
I heard some of it, you know what I'm saying? I heard some of it and hey man, it's it's hip hop. Right. And uh I just wanna know and you know, some people wanna know, is it coming out? No Kiss the Rings. Uh Kiss the Rings, that's an old project. That's not coming out. Uh three four action is not coming out either. Uh, my next project will be called Double Jeopardy, and that's a joint album that I did with Bella. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I have a solo project called Take It How You Want It. Okay. Um, I'm doing a joint album with DJ, well, that's produced by DJ Hood. Okay. And then I'm doing a joint album with K Love Evans, okay. who is a close friend and collaborator from South Park. That'll be like a three, four action, but it won't be called three, four action. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm doing a, a joint album with the homie Toby, um, long time friend. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're going we gonna to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to yeah. give it to him. It's sophisticated and smooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I have. Well, I have other albums. I mean, I, have, I still have another five or six albums that's done that's sitting to the side. I mean, I have singles. Mm -hmm. I have collaborations coming out uh, with different artists from different places. Right. Uh, it's, it's just going to be music from all kinds of places coming mm -hmm. out. So that's what I got going on. Yeah. Uh, to talk about that album, though, that album was hip hop. Uh, but unfortunately, it just won't see the light of day. Um, yeah. At least right now, right? No, not ever. I erased it. <laughs> I erased the album. I uh, mean, I, I took my music back because ooh. I contributed 80% of that album. And a lot of those songs were already mm. cornbread songs. But then I just said, okay, since we're working on this project, let's yeah. contribute this to this. Right. But I took my records back. So you'll hear UGK. You'll hear uh, mm. Starships and Rockets. You'll hear play a ride, but that's my songs. You know what I'm mm. saying? Because those producers gave those tracks to me. Mm. So that's my music. And yeah. it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know. Oh man. Uh hey man, I, I just wanna, you know, I, I just wanna hear the, you know, the finishing touches of all that, man. Cause like I say, that's hip hop. I like hip hop. We all we all grew up on the hip hop. We we have respect for you know, hip hop as a whole and where, you know, where, where, where it has came from and where is that now? But we only have respect those that actually do make good music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So respect, respect to all of y'all, man, that's out there right now, man. What you, what you, I got to ask you some more things. Like who, who would you like to work with? Like locally, like, uh, you know, you like right now you have, uh, you got, uh, you have people like uh, who is that? J Biggs. You got uh, J Biggs making some noise right now. You got uh, Albert. Uh, what's that? Two throw, two throw minds. Yeah. You got them. You got uh, you got uh, South Southside Sinatra. <laughs> you got uh, cats like uh, you got Playmaker. You know what I'm saying? You got Cage. Um. And, you know, you got Big J. Big J is doing some big, you know, some big things. Uh, I mean, it, it's so many, man. It's so many that, you know, I can't even name. Like, oh, Hevo, man. I like that girl, man. That, she nice, man. She nice on the mic. But, uh, like, what, what artists are, you know, that you see right now that you would like, like locally, that you would like to work with? Even from, you know, the Beaumont, Port Arthur area. Shout out to B Lean, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy too. Good artist, man. Good artist. I have a, I have a great working relationship with Playmaker and Cage. Right. So I plan to continue that. Uh, you know. Play Playmaker one of the coldest mixes out there. I'm just saying, you know. I, I mean, mean, as an MC, I, I put him I put him on that list too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like as a lyricist, I put him on that list. Yeah. So and then the chemistry between us three on the track, just off the records that we did already, mm -hmm. it's enough to make me say, yeah, let's keep this going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. uh, we're working on One Love Volume 2, and I plan to get them on that again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, also, you know, uh, sending them some other tracks that'll be like on yeah. my solo project. But, mm -hmm. you know, we all going to continue that working relationship. And hopefully right. when he do his next one, 
Mm-hmm. You'll send me a track and Cage a mm-hmm. track and we'll be on there and it, and yeah. it look like, you know, we we, we tan <clears throat> their ass up as a as a threesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, on the mic, but um, that's about it. I mean, uh, unfortunately, man, I would like to say that I would like to work with everybody, but the reality of the matter is, I know I'm not because everybody is moving different. First of all, I'm gonna say something. Uh, if anybody is moving with anybody that I see as my enemy, I'm not going to be around you at all. You know, and that's one thing. Now, outside of that, then there's the 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 <laughs> the politics of Beaumont, which is a lot of it is based on bullshit yeah. because it's, you know, it's who kisses ass more, who's more popular, who who does more boot licking. Who does more co-signing? You know, uh, you know, get along, go along, get along. That's what it, Beaumont politics is about. Politics. If that's, what, that's what I have to do to make records with people. I'm not gonna fucking do it because really, I don't have to make music with nobody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been doing it by myself yeah. this long and achieved what I've achieved thus far. The need to collaborate with people just to collaborate is not a necessity for me. Uh, <laughs> you know, so I, I look forward to going to Houston and working with the K Renos and the Murder One SPCs and the, you yeah. know, the legends who are people in Houston who have opened their doors and opened their arms to me because despite what a lot of people feel, I get a lot of respect out there. Yeah. You know, I move my podcast out there and it's in a place where it will be respected. Mm. And I appreciate that. And, and, you know, I'm looking at, I'm leaving this place behind me. Hey, we you know are in saying? we are in Houston right now. We are not at, in Beaumont. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm just being real. <clears throat> yeah, understandable, man. You know, um, you know, shout out to all them, all all the artists out there, man. That's really trying to put out, you know, real good music, man, and uh, and to move to move the people. You know, what I'm saying, Can in, I in say a good something? direction. Go ahead. Because there was a misconception that was put out there on a platform that came out in Atlanta, and I'm not sure if you're aware of it. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, it was a podcast called Off the Porch. Okay, Off the Porch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, okay. Now, there was two artists from Beaumont who went to this podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. And the artist's names was Quincy Black and Ebody. Okay. Okay. So I'm yeah. watching the interview and, you know, of course, they talking to him and oh Lord, and they ask him, you know, they ask him a question about when they started making music. <clears throat> and this is where a lie was told Mm-mm. because they said, well, Quincy Black, not they, Quincy Black said. I started making music and I, you know, and me and my group were the ones that made the city take rapping serious. <clears throat> Incorrect. <clears throat> Categorically wrong. I mean, anybody who was making music before them. I mean, they came out around the time frame of. I say between 2011 and 2013. So, what were artists in Beaumont doing before that? Well, you because had because I had I know I can name plenty of artists. Biggie, who, Flames. I mean, Cash Money. He was with Cash Money before that. Yeah, before that. Yeah, I mean, there was artists. We, we have we have to be honest about our musical history. Yeah. And uh, when an artist gets on a national platform and tells a bold faced lie, mm. we have to correct that because yeah. then you're shitting on the artists and DJs who started in the 80s. Yeah. You're shitting on the artists and people who came from the 90s, including myself. And then you shitting on the people who were putting it down before you did in the early 2000s. So we have to be correct. But see, this is where that politics shit come in at. Politics. Because these people are popular. Mm-hmm. 
nobody checks that shit. Yeah. Because they're, you know, looked at a certain way or perceived a certain yeah. way. Nobody wants to say nothing about <clears throat> that. Yeah. But we have to be honest. I'm not going to let people tell a lie just because it sounds good. That's it. That's all. So he said he he really went on uh off the porch and he said that they were the first group. They them taking music serious is what made Beaumont take music serious. Basically saying in <clears throat> in a in a roundabout way, it was me and my group that planted the seed that made mm -hmm. Beaumont take rap music serious as a career yeah as if there were no artists before you yeah and that's a lie yeah i think i think i think he was just saying it well i say this i feel like if he said that he was speaking on the sense of his generation <clears throat> but you can't say yeah, that because yeah, it cause... was artists younger than you who were around before you older than him Older than them, yeah. Because even you know, uh, Marco, you know, Marco. Was I mean, it was people too, around. Yeah. It was it was too many yeah. artists. Zaza. If if you started around twenty eleven, and you ain't really bubbled till fourteen fifteen, bro, you didn't miss twenty damn near thirty years of artists already. But see, there's this separation between mm. young and old. <clears throat> there's a separation between those who are popular and those who don't care about popularity. Mm. Yep. Nobody wants to talk about that mm. because these young artists get on platforms and they ask them about Beaumont and they say artists who, you know, and during that interview, they asked them about artists in Beaumont. They only named two. Who was we that? got way more than that. And who was that? One was Jade and one was Tizo, some little guy named yeah. Tizo. But okay, yeah. Tizo is young is a young man. Yeah. Jade has already signed. Yeah. What about yeah. what about Hevo? What about Playmaker? What about yeah. it's people who I can name. Yeah. Yeah, There's too lot, many it's a, people it's a, it's a, it's who I can name. Yeah, it's a lot of people. And and for somebody to get on a major platform like mm. that and pump those lies, that shit pisses <laughs> me off. That shit pisses me off. Hey. It really does. And, and, yeah. and you know, I, I just I don't like yeah. that. I don't like the misconceptions. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm really not, I'm not supposed to say this, but, you know, uh, eventually I'm going to have to go on one of them platforms. <laughs> just to set the record straight. You know what I'm saying? Because it yeah. needs to be set straight. It has to be set straight because the lies, if, if we keep allowing people to perpetuate lies, then you might as well throw your hands up and get this shit away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I'm sorry, man. Them lies, yeah. people lying and fabricating. And yeah. I know that this is, you know, the, the fake yeah. it till you make it generation. Man. But I'm not, I'm not raised like that, man. Yeah. You don't fake nothing. Yeah. But, you know, we got, you know, we got orders like Boss. He signed a uh, Clover G's. Right, shout you out know, to Paul. He he the one he one of the ones that that's really making a noise, uh, making motions out here in these. Yeah, you know? and they don't say his name yeah, on platforms, yeah. and he's the only Beaumont artist on radio. Hey, hey, and he killing it. Uh, you have, you got, you got uh Port Arthur, you got B Lean. You know what I'm saying? B Lean and Dope. They they on one hundred two point five, and that's you know, and we talking about getting paid off of it, so. I mean, you know, you know, it's 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 a whole bunch who I can name out of my head. And I don't even listen to the radio, but I'd be happy to hear that they are make you know doing motion. You know what I'm saying? Boss is getting played even in New York. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere nationwide. So that's a that's a good that's a good thing to you know to hear that. Hey man, keep doing your keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Even you know TZ touchdown. Hey. I, I don't I don't rock with your music like that, but you're doing your thing. And I, you know, I hear you writing for people. Big J, you know what I'm saying? Do you do you hey, do your thing. But it's it's a lot, it's a lot of people out here that's really making noise out here. And we need to really get on the on a on a uh 
on, on a, a real mind state of like, man, I'm going to mess with who I'm going to mess with. Of course, I understand that. But we got to recognize each other, you know what I'm saying, and see what each other is doing, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if you with the go-along, get-along game, hey, man, that's you. But I listen to all types of music. But if you don't recognize the people before you, who are you? You don't know. You lost. If we don't recognize the shadows, how, how can you recognize the future? You can't because you don't have no steps to even take. You know what I'm saying? You got artists like, you know, King Zaza. You got him out there. You got Cornbread. You got Playmaker. You got uh, Rose Gold. You have, you know what I'm saying? You had uh, back in the day, who you had? Uh, you had, matter of fact, I bet y'all know this. You had, uh, L was it LAD? Life After Death. You had LAD. That was one of the pioneers from Beaumont that actually took it serious. So you had you had and actually the group yeah. that opened the door for me because yeah, it is. I mean, yeah. I was listening to rap and I was a fan of rap. But then when I bought that and I looked at that yeah. and I said, wait a minute, they from here. They from yeah. my neighborhood. Right. That made me feel like, oh, shit, I could do this, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh oh, yeah. and look, yeah. at you know, they came out in 93 and my splash was 94. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It all worked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It all yeah. worked out. And that's you know, we, we need we need to always pay homage, man, to the people that was here before you. Don't never don't never lose your identity, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know yeah, you're trying to get out the city, but hey man, don't act brand new, bro. You know, uh sister. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, it's unpopular honesty. And it's your boy T Mad Visions from Alive and Free. Hey. We're here with my boy, the host, the real host, Cornbread. And hey, man, unpopular, but it's us being honest. So, chill. On behalf of Keontae, this is Unpopular Honesty. Peace and love, because that's what the world needs. <laughs>